Hi, it's Rich from Planet PE, and we're doing our latest round of revision. So looking at the BTEC Level 3 course, and now moving on to the responses of exercise, um, looking at the, the skeletal system, so our skeleton and the bones, and how in an immediate session, right there and then, your body makes some sort of change. So you'll see on the screen now, that when we look at these different exercises, um, we're thinking about instantaneous changes that your body is making so that you're prepared for any stress. So for instance, if I am bowling cricket, I might be um, putting lots and lots of force through my bones and my body's making a response straight, um, straight away when I'm bowling. So these are known as acute responses or short-term effects. So in your exam, if you ever asked about any acute response or a short-term effect of exercise, on the skeletal system, these are the facts that we're looking at. So we know that when we're exercising that the heart has um, adaptations and breathing rate changes and things like that, but the skeletal system also does some really interesting things that make sure that we can um, exercise effectively and as well as we can. So the first aspect that is gonna be um, a short-term or an acute response is what you've got on the screen now. So if you have a look at this first effect, so. Um, we actually get an increase of synovial fluid. So if any of you have um, watched the previous podcast or the revision sessions, you'll see that we've looked at the different joints and particularly about synovial joints. So we get an increase in synovial fluid. So the things that in your exam you need to be able to do is one, describe what is going on, and the other one is why it's beneficial. So if you see in front, we've got a nice table, so you could try and fill that out uh, in your own time. So if you wanna pause the video now and give it a go, and then we'll look at the answers in a sec, or if you want to, uh, feel free and join us as we go through. So your exercise system is gonna make some sort of a response to the exercise um, that we have in front of us. So the first thing it's gonna do is, is produce more synovial fluid in the synovial joints. Now synovial fluid is a lubricant, so a bit like oil in a car, it's a thing that's gonna allow that uh, movement to be a lot easier and flow nice and, nice and simply, so there's not gonna be any friction. So the joint is lubricated and it protects the bone. So what it allows us to do is actually um, increase the demands of what we're able to do and be able to protect it. So this idea where we've got more synovial fluid being produced, it means that the joints can be lubricated. Now the fluid becomes less viscous. Now viscous is a word that you may or may not be um, familiar with. So I would say that for instance, that McDonald's milkshakes are really, really viscous because they're thick. So viscosity or viscous is about how thick a fluid is. So we're saying there that the fluid actually becomes less viscous, so less thick. So therefore it's gonna flow easier. Well, the impact of these things is that the bone is gonna be protected which has got to be a good thing. So if you think again, if I'm bowling in cricket, I'm running in, landing with, let's say, four and a half, five times my body weight going through my, through my joints, there's big impacts and my bones are going to be protected because I've got more synovial fluid. Well, the other good thing in there is it allows a greater range of movement and also that the articular cartilage um, actually receives more nutrients. So in your exam there, we've got one point, but actually we could make four extra ones. So we have that increased synovial fluid plus the four points that you can see on the screen. The second thing that happens is that we get an increased uptake of the minerals within the bones. So again, if you wanna pause it and try and think about filling this table in and then go through it with us, again, feel free, or just come with us on the journey. So another acute response is that we've got this uh, increased uptake of minerals. So obviously the minerals we're talking about are things like calcium. So as we are exercising, we will see that your bones actually become stronger and denser when you regularly exercise. And the reason is because your body is able to absorb minerals such as calcium. So the pure fact that you are doing things like a weight bearing exercise, such as a bench press or running, it means that your body's gonna have to withstand the impact. And because of that stimulation, actually, your body wants to, um, wants to wants to absorb those minerals as best as it can so that therefore we can um, protect ourselves and cope with the demands of the exercise. So you think when you're running, you're getting stress and force being applied to the bones and the bones need to be able to cope with that, otherwise we will just crumble. So again, as I say, if you're bowling in cricket, if you're running, you're getting more than your body weight going through your, um, through your bones because of gravity and your body weight. So you've got to think about how your body responds to that. So really simply, it just uptakes the minerals so that therefore the body um, can, with, can cope with the demands and that the density of the bone is increased. 
Okay, and it's all because of this idea that we're absorbing the minerals such as calcium. So within the exam, we've got two real short-term effects on the skeleton, but we need to describe it and really say what is beneficial. And this is where your marks are going to come from. So if we look at again right at the top, we've got these short-term effects where we think about it being acute responses, we've got increased cellular fluid we've got the increased um, uptake of minerals within the bones and then we need to be able to describe them and say it's why it's beneficial. So again, thanks for joining us. Uh, please continue to watch the videos and as you'll see, particularly coming up to the January exam, there'll be more and more coming. So um, please stick with us.